Welcome to all AVG News viewers. My name is Nozuelo Khateba and I'm bringing you the news. The headlines. Johannesburg. South Africa's President Cyril Ramaphosa first calls to step down this week following findings by a parliamentary panel that may have violated the country's constitution. Blantyre. Malawi's Vice President Saulus Klaus Shilima recently appeared in court following his arrest over alleged involvement in corruption. Johannesburg. Thousands of Houteng drivers were stuck in traffic Thursday morning as members of the opposition Economic Free Freedom Fighters blocked the N1 in protest over the release of Yanus Walus convicted killer of slain South African freedom fighter Chris Hani. Bamako. Mali's transitional government has temporarily held out the delivery of exploration and exploitation mining licenses. Kambala, the African Development Bank has ranked Uganda among the top 10 performers in industrial development in the Africa's Industrialization Index 2022. President Cyril Ramaphosa the first calls to step down this week following findings by a parliamentary panel that may have violated the country's constitution. The calls follow allegations by the country's former head of intelligence, Arthur Fraser, that Ramaphosa tried to console the theft of a huge sum of cash stuffed into couches at his farm in 2020. Fraser, an ally of President his political rival and predecessor, Jacob Zuma, accused Ramaphosa of money laundering and violating foreign currency control laws. In its 82 page report published on November 30, the Section 89 Independent Panel said information placed before it disclosed prima facie that President may have committed the following breaches of the Constitution. 1. A serious violation of section 96 subsection 2 subsection a 2 a serious violation of section 34 subsection 1 of PRICA. 3 a serious misconduct in that president is violated section 92 of subsection 2 subsection b by acting in a way that inconsistent with a, with his office 4 a serious misconduct in that the president is violated section 96 Subsection 2, subsection B, by exposing himself to a situation of constitution. Lantaya. Malawi's Vice President Saulus Klaus Shilema recently appeared in court following his arrest over alleged involvement in corruption. Malawi's anti corruption bureau arrested and charged Mr. Shilema following months of investigation over his conduct. In a national address in June, Malawi's President Lazarus Chakwera stripped Chilima of his powers when the watchdog first accused him of corruption. Johannesburg Thousands of Houten drivers were stuck in traffic Thursday morning as members of the opposition Economic Freedom Fighters blocked the N1 in, pro in protest over the release of Yanus Walus convicted killer of slain South African freedom fighter Chris Hani. Walus was said to be released from the Jose Mamburu Correctional Center in Pretoria on Thursday after the Constitutional Court ordered his release a fortnight ago. Walus was stepped by an inmate in prison this week, but Correctional Services said he was in a stable condition. Famaco. Mali's transitional government has temporarily held out the delivery of exploration and exploitation mining licenses. According to a statement from the West African Nations Minister of Mines, Lemin Trao, Wednesday the measure has been taken to a better serve the sector's stakeholders. The suspension of the allocation of mining rights comes during a period of upheaval in the Malian mining industry. Earlier this year, the authorities launched an audit of gold mines operating in the country and President Asime Goeta signed a law last month creating an, a government-run national mining company whose duties include increasing government revenue from the exploitation of the country's mineral resources. The mining sector accounts for 10% of Mali's gross domestic product with 98% that from gold and about 80% of the country's exports. Kampala 
the African Development Bank has ranked Uganda among the top 10 performers in industrial development in Africa Industrialization Index 2022. The ranking indicates that Uganda's industrialization policy is beginning to pay off as the country's registers increased improvement in manufacturing value-added goods. The top 10 performs in terms of ranking AFDB said included Djibouti, Benin, Mozambique, Senegal, Ethiopia, Rwanda, Tanzania, Ghana and Uganda. This is the news. My name is Nozolo Hatebe. Please do not forget to subscribe and like the channel. Thank you.